Hey guys, this is Ray with Geekster Labs with another watch to review. Today we have the Nero Grande from Perigine Watch Company, retailing for $345. Perigine is actually based in San Jose, California. The watch comes in a really nice leather bound case. Included inside is the warranty card, the microfiber cloth, the extra strap. In this particular case, it's the uh, black leather strap with that black stitching and the watch tool. We'll start with the leather strap, which is branded in several places on the buckle and on the back as well. The contrasted white stitching on this leather, uh, black leather strap really pops and is a nice classic look to the watch. The strap tapers down uh, from 22 millimeters at the lugs to 20 millimeters on the ends. Here we have the black leather with contrasting white stitching. Also available is black on black and black with gray stitching, which is a unique look. The case of the watch itself is interesting for the fact that it's PVD coated, something that you don't see too often in the boutique brands. It's 47 millimeters in diameter, 316L stainless steel, water resistant to five atmospheres and weighs about four ounces, which is pretty significant. It's a, it's a hefty watch. It definitely carries a, a weight on the wrist. It sits tall on the wrist as well. The watch definitely carries some depth to it. The case back is screw down and you can note the branding from Perigine as well. A really cool quality of the Perigine uh, watch company is that the limited production run allows for customers to uniquely select their numbered watch. Here we have number 001 from Mr. Perigine himself. The Sapphire Crystal is another unique selling point of this watch. Uh, at this price level, having a Sapphire Crystal is a big deal. Sapphire Crystals are less prone to scratching and hold up well. Even though the watch is large at 47 millimeters, it, it wears kind of smaller because of the curved lugs. They wrap around the wrist and it feels really good on. Inside, the Nero Grande is powered by a Miyota 915, a, really, a real workhorse in the watch industry, featuring auto and manual winding and a 42 hour power reserve. With the dial or face of the watch, we see it's a simple three hand showing hour, minute, and second display. The available faces for the watch are black as you see here. There's also gray and white. An interesting note of the, the dial is that only the hands are uh, painted with luminous material. The dial is in a classic aviator style with large Arabic numerals at three, six, nine, and 12. The chapter ring is marked in five minute increments. And that's, that's kind of what really adds to the depth of the watch, the angled chapter ring. Had they taken that out, I think the watch would have been, would have been a little bit uh, thinner, but it really adds to the legibility of the watch and being able to quickly glance down and read the time. As mentioned before, the Nero Grande is done in a pilot style, but you may notice that the hands are kind of matchstick a little bit smaller than the typical sword hands of a pilot style watch. And this is kind of where you get the uniqueness of the Perigine, uh, of the Nero Grande actually. Um, the matchstick hands add for uh, a little bit cleaner, dressier look to the, to, the, uh, to the watch. But also with, since the hands are just loomed, it, uh, legibility in the dark is a little bit low. Over on the crown side, we see Perigine's logo on the branded crown. And if you pull it out, we note that the Miyota movement it has hacking functionality as well. As mentioned before, the Miyota movement is automatic and hand wind, or automatic and manual. And when you turn the crown to man manually wind the watch, 
it's uh, so quiet and smooth that I honestly uh, had to take a second look at the specs and see that uh, the Miyota 9015 was indeed a manual wound watch with the uh, capability of auto and manual winding. Overall, the Perigine Nero Grande was a, a joy to have on the wrist. Like I said, it is a bit larger than what I wear normally, but with the curved lugs, it, it sit, re sat really well and uh, wore very nicely. Fit under the cuff pretty easily too. Overall, I really enjoyed, uh, I think for the price, the, the PVD coating is great. The design aesthetic with the Pilot with a, with a different twist on it was really neat. And the Sapphire Crystal was, were just all big major selling points to me. And then throw on top of that the limited production run and the ability to choose which number uh, numbered piece you get. Just bonus points in an already uh, impressive watch. The only downside I would say is that the watch only has the hands loomed. Being that they're small hands, and this is a pilot watch, kind of in the tool category with the heft and weight of it, I think they would, would have done uh, well to loom all the indices. That being said, I'm somewhat of a loom freak. And again, overall, the, the PVD coating on the case, the sapphire crystal, the Miyota movement, this watch has some very strong points. I would recommend it if you're not as big a loom freak as me. So that's my take on the Perigine Nero Grande. If you'd like to know more about this watch, check out the link in the description. If you'd like to see more watch reviews, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This has been Ray with Geekster Labs. Hope you enjoyed the video.